So geometry, this is our test review that we did for today. Um, so this is the first half of the review um, and we'll finish the second half today because we are testing tomorrow. So um, again, just a reminder, we have a test tomorrow, which is gonna be the 24th. So making sure you guys are um, letting me know if you guys need help before then. Um, and then tomorrow in class, we'll do a live um, or just like real-time test. So we won't actually probably meet tomorrow. I'll probably just have you guys log in at test time or maybe quickly ask questions before the start. So um, we're gonna start on our notes, which is the second half. So if you guys recall, we did these yesterday, our last class. Um, our test is on Tuesday. We did this section of notes. Um, so now we're on to the second half of the page here. So we were still in similar polygons. And what this one was telling us um, is we have similar triangles and they give us some information about the altitude of the triangle. So um, not only are triangles similar and their parts proportional, but also the altitudes, the medians, kind of those special parts are also proportional. So they tell us um, M, NP is similar to RST, they tell us UR is 14, which is this altitude here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to mark, 14 there. Um, and they want the, the length of the altitude over here, which is gonna be, I'm gonna call X, which really should be ML, sorry. NL is not the altitude. So just like sides are proportional, the altitudes are as well. So X would go with 14. And then I have to pick two sides that go together. So just be careful about this. So I'm um, thinking that 30 automatically goes with 18 because it's in like the same spot. Hopefully you realize 30 is bigger than 27 and 20 is bigger than 18. So that means actually 30 goes with 20. Um, and again, that's because MN is in the same spot as RS, which is over here. So in the X triangle, 30 is my MN. And then again, that should go with RS, which is 20. So careful there, even though the drawing kind of looks like um, it should be 30 and 18, it's actually 30 and 20. So we're gonna cross multiply, set equal. So we find out X is gonna be 21, which is our ML, which is the height of this, the altitude. And then they want the measure of angle RTU. RTU is here. So that angle, remember angle, sides are proportional, the angle should be equal. So since T is here in the name, it should go with the same letter that it's in the, in the same spot. So it should go with P. So T and P are actually equal. And just so you know, that's a really bad drawing. So I apologize that that says 89 because it shouldn't be, but we'll just go with it. Um, so this is T, this is P, they're equal. So this is gonna be 89 degrees. So then in section 6.5, we talked about similarity for triangles and how to prove triangles are similar. And the way we learned was angle, angle, side, angle, side, or side, side, side. And remember, these aren't the same as the congruence ones. Um, this just means that the sides all have to be proportional. So the angles must be equal. but sides are proportional. And remember, proportional means I can set up a ratio. So that's where I have like two equal ratios where I can set them, um, do cross multiplying. Now, in this problem, um, we haven't, I don't know that we've actually done many like this. So it says a building casts a shadow that's 26 feet long. So I'm gonna draw a building and cast a shadow that's gonna be 26 feet long. And you know how shadows work, it's basically the sun's over here, and so this is black, so um, this is shadow. And this is gonna be a right angle, because the building should be standing up tall. So, so it's clearly that that's the building, and here's our shadow down over here. At the same time, a student who's 71 inches tall casts a 41 inch shadow. 
48 inch shadow, sorry. So student standing nearby. They're 71 inches tall. Sorry, this is a very bad drawing. And their shadow should be 48 inches. How tall is the building to the nearest foot? And says at the same time, what that's saying is the sun is at the same height in the air, so like up in the sky, so the shadow should be proportional. Now, feet and inches don't make sense. So first of all, we have to change this to inches. So 26 feet, we're gonna change into inches, so there's 12 inches in a foot, so we're gonna change 26 feet into, um, 312 inches. I'm going to redraw this. So 312. No, sorry, that should be inches. And then we don't know the height of the building. And then the student, again, bad drawing, 71 inches and 48 inches. So now these are proportional. These are similar triangles because of side angle side. Um, so and actually, it's actually more angle, angle. I just realized I said side, angle, side, but it should be angle, angle because of the fact that these two angles should be equal because that means the height of the sun is the same. So, um, so H um, should go with 71 because it's the height of the student and 312 should go with 48 because remember 312 is the distance, the shadow in inches. So we get 48H equals 22,152 divided by 48. And we find out the height is going to be 461.5 inches. And that's the height of the building. So if you wanted to figure that out, you divide that by 12. Um, right, divide by 12, and we would get something like about somewhere around 38 or 40 feet, somewhere in there. So that would be the height of the building. They want the value of X that makes these similar. So in this case, basically they're saying kind of assume they're similar and then figure out like what value that should be. So, um, so 30 goes with 20. And then just making sure like that's correct. YZ or YX here goes with PQ. And then if I'm using this one, YZ should go with QR. So since 30 and 21 are in the same shape, then um, X plus six would be down here. So we find out X would be eight. And actually we don't have to find this X because it should also be eight. And then the last rule we learned about was proportionality theorems. And so there was two different ones we learned about here was basically if these are parallel, we learned that this one is proportional here, is this one is proportional here. Or we also learned if we have an angle bisector, this one tells us that one, this one tells us that one. So um, those were two different drawings that we saw with this section. So in this next problem here, they tell us um, this is X, this whole thing is 38. So I wanna know what this one is. And um, if this is 38 and this is X, this one has to be 38 minus X. And then since these are angle bisectors, I know 10 goes with X and then 16 goes with 38 minus X. So I can cross multiply.
And so x ends up being 14.6. So what you guys are gonna be doing for homework then is to finish the rest of the re review, which is 422 um, for Tuesday. Um, and that should be online already. Um, let me know if you have questions though. So if you wanna stick around after our meet or if you wanna schedule a Google Meet before we have our test, that would be fine. Um, basically, you're gonna have the time during our class to do your test. If for some reason you can't do it at that time, you should be checking in with me and letting me know that and we can kind of open it at a different time. So hope you guys are well, take care. Let me know if you guys need anything.